Why are you continuously late for this class, Mr. Spicoli? Why do you shamelessly waste my time like this? I don't know. <laughs> nice. Mr. Han, will I pass this class? Gee, Mr. Spicoli, I don't know. A lot of movies about high school, about the jocks, the cheerleaders, the nerds, the stoners. One of my favorites is a movie that came out in my own high school days in 1982. It's Fast Times at Ridgemont High, directed by Amy Heckerling, from a script that Cameron Crowe based on his own reportage for Rolling Stone, where he went undercover in an American high school. Now, when most people think of this movie, they probably think of Jeff Spicoli, the stoner surfer dude played by Sean Penn in what was really a career-making performance. Why don't you get a job, Spicoli? What for? You need money. <laughs> All I need are some tasty waves, cool buzz, and I'm fine. Fast Times at Ridgemont High is often a very funny movie. It captures as well as any movie I can think of, the deep absurdity and ridiculousness of life in high school. We just want to say that we're not spirit bunnies anymore. We always hated that name. It bugged the heck out of Dina and me. It's just such a put down. Really? We know you've got a lot of spirit, everybody, right? And we're going to destroy Lincoln next week, all right? But this movie also takes a refreshingly honest and candid look at some of the more uncomfortable aspects of teenage life, in particular adolescent sexuality. There are some scenes that really capture the awkwardness, the discomfort, the not knowing quite what you're supposed to do, when you're supposed to do it, whether you're supposed to want it, how you're supposed to do it. It manages to be funny and lighthearted and insightful, but also to push some of its characters into some very uncomfortable and difficult places. In particular, this character, Stacey Hamilton, who's played by Jennifer Jason Lee, who shows herself in this movie to be just such a phenomenal actress. This is really a great performance. When she was an American girl, raised up in provinces. This is a young girl sort of pushed by her older friend, played by Phoebe Cates, into precocious sexuality that she might not quite be ready for. So she loses her virginity to an older guy who works at the mall. And then she has a brief encounter with a guy who she doesn't particularly like. This is nice. Yeah? Yeah. These will fit you. She gets pregnant and she decides to have an abortion. How do you know it's mine? I mean, we only did it once. I haven't been with anybody else. I know it's yours. Now, other movies might have dealt with this kind of stuff in a sleazy or salacious or moralistic kind of way, turning Stacy's story into the cautionary tale of a girl gone wrong. Instead, what happens is this. The guy who got her pregnant doesn't show up to take her to the clinic. Stacy's brother, played by Judge Reinhold, comes to pick her up. And the two of them have a moment that is so exquisitely understated. It shows what wonderful actors these two are and what a really wonderful, smart, sensitive movie Fast Times at Ridgemont High is. Okay, Brad, please don't tell Mom and Dad. Come on. Who did it? You're not going to tell me, are you? Okay. It'll just be your secret. You all right? Yeah. Come on. 